Okay, we're going to make um, the second page of our career exploration website. Um, and again, we're going to start with the, uh, the banner and the nav, but the page on, at the end of it, at the end of the videos, are, it's going to look something like this. We're going to have a, um, an image. Notice I've created sort of like a Polaroid idea of the image. Um, and I have a div. We're working inside the container div. And, and I have different divs, a main and I think a right side that's holding different things. And then down below here, I have a, a div called parts. And I have three parts to the div called parts, one, two, and three. And I show you how to basically create or find a little graphic. Um, and basically, it's pretty much uh, 15 pixel by 15 pixel or 20 pixel by 20 pixel, very small. And I show you how to place it next to a list item. So um, just kind of a cool little techniques that uh, maybe you can use um, later on if you ever get into web design. And it's a fairly good looking page. Um, and this is what we'll do. So again, we're going to start off with uh, one of your copies of your banner and your nav pages with nothing on it. So that's all you have is just the... Uh, the div banner holding the banner, 1,000 by 350, actually 300. So I can change that because it's yours is 1,000 by 300. So we're going to go into Text Wrangler. Let me go ahead and change that because I'll show you that I changed it here. There. Uh, Let's see here, what is going on? Okay, so this is what's, what we're starting with here. And I'm gonna go, here is the container. Here is a smaller box inside the container called banner that holds the banner. Here is a box called nav that holds the nav. And here is the closing div for the container. Now again, we're gonna put more stuff in the container. So I'm gonna put my cursor here and hit a couple, hit the return key a couple times and then drop it down and save it. Okay, so we are going to create a div called main. And this is going to hold some more just underneath the nav here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to place an image. Now, what I did was I created a, a sized image inside Photoshop like I did for the, uh, um, the other page. So I went into Photoshop, I created a, I think it's a 250 by 250 pixel area, a new canvas in Photoshop. I, I went file, place, and I placed an image in it, and then I was able to basically maneuver the image and decide which 250 pixel by 250 pixel area I wanted. And then I exported it, I went file, save for web, which exports um, something out of Photoshop, and I saved it as a, uh, a JPEG. And that way I have a, the specific area. So I don't have to grab an image and then ch you know, change the size. I can actually go into Photoshop um, and, and decide what part of that image I want. I can you know, make it larger and move it around. Um, so you get the exact idea of the image that you want. So that's what I did. And we did that in the last, uh, last page. So hopefully you can, you can figure that out. So. We are going to create an image, image SRC, oh, oh, SRC equals, and mine is guitar, card uh, called guitar one dot JPG. And then we're going to give it a class name to talk to it in CSS, a Polaroid. Okay. 
Now, you know, you'll have probably a different name here. But again, you want something 250 by 250, but you don't have to find an image exactly 250 by 250. Again, you can go into Photoshop, go File, New, make a new canvas, 250 pixels by 250 pixels. Um, find a photograph, any size you want, and then bring it into that canvas in Photoshop. And you can decide what part of that image you want to place on the canvas that's already 250 by 250. And then you go File, Save for Web, and again, you export it as a JPEG. So go ahead and you can do that. That's what I did. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a, a small H3 heading. And you'll have some kind of heading that will mean something to your career. And then a paragraph. So I'm going to do the P tag, hit the return key, close out the P tag a couple times. And uh, let me save it. And then let me go into, so let me, let me grab. I might have to delete some of the paragraph Latin text here. It might be too much, but I'll, I'll, um, maybe I'll just do that now. Okay. So as a designer, you can kind of figure out how much text is too much. Uh, you can have somebody kind of re, retype it, rethink the idea to kind of keep it. Uh, as much paragraph text as you need as a designer. So we have that. And then uh, again, I'm in, still inside main. Now here's the thing, I have not closed out main, the div. So here's my opening div right here of main. And here's the div that closes the container. Let me go ahead now before I forget and close out main, okay? We're going to stay inside main, just under the paragraph, and we're going to do a few more things here. So uh, I'm going to do a large heading, H1, okay, and then I'm going to do another paragraph. And I like to do my P tags before I ever add text to my paragraph. I'm going to grab some of this. Oh, I think I got the P tag. Let me do that again here. Yeah, there you go. Okay. And I closed off the uh, paragraph. I'm going to close off... Um, the div, and let me just put a comment here. That way I can kind of know where things close at. Okay, so again, I'm, I'm still inside the container. I just closed off the main div area. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a div called right side. And so it's going to be right. I don't, you know, that I don't like to use um, empty spaces. So I'm going to say right underscore side. And again, let me close that off. And I'll make a comment. something like that. So I'm all set to go. Now what I'm going to do is on the right side I'm going to do an h3 tag and just say subheading. Again, you'll you'll have something um, pertinent to your career. And then we're going to do another small paragraph of text. So I'll, I'll do my P tags. 
This way I know that I open and close the P tags and all that. And I'll grab some text. And again, I don't want that much, but again, you can decide, you can, you can add or take off text to help your design. Okay, now I'm gonna work inside the, the right side div still. So I wanna keep above the closing of this right here. Hit the return key. And I'm gonna add another subheading. And another small paragraph of text. I'm actually just gonna grab this thing. And save it. And again, I'm still inside the right side div. Okay, now um, I'm going to do that one more time. So I'm going to grab the H3 and the paragraph again and go right below it. Now I've got basically three. I, I got three of the same thing, a subheading, paragraph, subheading, paragraph, subheading, paragraph, okay, inside the right side. And um, after that, that's when the right side closes right here. Now I'm going to go below that. And I'm going to put an HR tag. Now again, notice that the HR tag is not in anything. It's inside the container, but it's not in a separate box. Okay. And it's just to kind of separate out visually the, the, the top part from the bottom part. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a div that's going to hold everything, a large box called three parts. Oops, three underscore parts. Okay. And again, I'm going to hit the return key a couple times, close it off so I know. And again, I'll make a... Uh, comment okay notice it's grayed out now inside this box called three parts right here I'm gonna put three little boxes one part two part three part I believe let's see how I do that oh I'm actually gonna give it a class so I'm gonna do a div and instead of a uh, ID name, it's going to be class name because I'm going to design all three parts the same. And that'll just kind of help me do that. So here's my first part, yeah. div. Okay, and again, I'm inside the three parts div. And inside the parts, I'm going to make a H4 tag h4 close off the h4 tag and then I'm going to make an unordered list and I'll give it a class name of bullet list And let me close off the UL. Okay, now we're gonna, just, we're gonna create one. And these could be links. I'm not actually gonna make them clickable or anything, but, and we'll say um, list item one. Okay, so now we got one list item. And I copied the whole thing, I'm gonna paste We'll do five, and then I'll change the names here. Now again, you have to figure out, here's the layout of this page. What can you do to create some real content on your career? And you don't have to kind of figure out a listing 
of things for your certain career. Okay, so I have one. I have the div class parts done. I'm going to grab the whole div, the closing of it and everything. Parts, not three parts, but just the parts with the same class name. And I'm going to add two more into that. Okay? And then the last thing I'm going to do is, so again, parts. Um, there are three class divs of parts inside three parts. So here's the div that's holding everything, three parts. Inside of it, there's a three little divs call, each called parts. And I gave it a class name. Remember, in class, class names, you can use multiple times on a page. ID name, you can only use once. So I could have used ID names of parts one, parts two, parts three. But because I'm going to design them same, the same way, I can talk to all three at the same time by, by using the same class name. Okay, that was, that was my idea on that. So um, here I am, I'm below uh, three parts, and I'm going to put a footer. I'm inside the container. Here's the closing of the container. I'm right here, and I'm going to do a footer. Div ID equals footer. And then close it off. So now we're all set. That's all the HTML. Now again, I've created a page with Latin text and nondescript subheading names, and you have to figure out for your uh, career field what to put uh, real content there. But it should lay out the same. So I'm going to save it, and then the next video will be all CSS. Thanks.